Good morning and welcome to the boarding breakout room. My name is David Newberry, I'm the deputy head of the school and I'm with Amy Snelling who's our house mistress. Um, and Amy's going to tell us a little bit about life in the boarding house. Thank you David. Okay so what sets us apart from uh, other boarding schools is that we're a really close-knit um, family feel boarding house. Um, we have also have a fantastic location where we're right by the seaside. We can also do lovely country walks along the Sussex Downs. And we have three different options for boarding. We have four weekly and flexi boarders in our house. Um, we're a huge diverse um, boarding uh, group because we've got nationalities from J Japan, we've got Hong Kong Chinese, uh, Iranian, lots of UK children and also German children and often we also get Spanish. Um, it's really good preparation if you're interested in your child going to senior school to get that taste of boarding. I'm at the prep school first um, before moving on to a much bigger school and um, so lots of parents decide to bring their child to year eight first um, to get them used to the boarding lifestyle and we also have our house motto which is work hard play hard and be kind so the members of staff in our boarding team we have David Newry who's the head of boarding um, and then I'm the house mistress and then we also have Marie Alliro who is deputy house mistress and then we have our three matrons, who are Natalia, Sarah and Jane, who are really lovely in there to kind of look after the children too. Uh, my fiancé, Jordan Turner, also lives with us in the boarding house and he teaches at the senior school. And then most importantly, we have our house pets. So we have Barney the dog, and then we have our three house rabbits, who are called Elvis, Teddy and Evie. So what happens when you're new? So you, if you're new, you arrive a little bit earlier than our returning boarders, which gives you an opportunity to settle into the house, let your parents see your room, um, and really kind of get to know the staff before all the other boarders return. We then have a nice house meeting. We talk through routines, what's expected on your first day of school, um, make sure that your children are all feeling nice and settled before bedtime. We make sure that your child has a boarding buddy as well as an academic buddy, buddy so that they know what they're doing every day and they've got somebody to talk to if they need, as well as the staff members. Um, if your child is feeling homesick, then we're all there to help and support them. Um, it is quite common that we get homesick children, but we're all really experienced on making sure your child is feeling like they're at home, even if they're in the boarding house. So here's an example of our house routines. And um, so during the weekday, it's uh, wake up at seven, um, on a, partic a particular popular two days are the Wednesday and Friday because after school we do a movie and tuck night. Um, on the weekend we have a bit of a more of a lie-in um, and this is when we go on our trips um, but I'll talk to you a little bit more about that later. So we've got lots, we've got lots of staff who are very specialist in order to help with your child in their school, um, in school. Um, so we have homework every Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and that's supervised by our house staff. Um, I am a science teacher at the prep and Marie Alliro, our deputy house mistress, is a French teacher. Um, so we can help your child um, in a range of different subjects. Um, in addition to that, we have lots of close contact with your, with your child's um, teaching staff and form teacher, um, including our EAL department. So if your child needs any support um, in any aspects of school, we're all there um, and happy to help. So on the weekends, on the Saturday, we have a bit more of a local trip, uh, it's a bit more of a chilled day. So we take the children to, sh to go shopping, if they want to go shopping in the town centre, they can go and work, walk on the downs, and uh, we take them for dog walks, or we can go down to the beach. And then on Sunday, it's our bigger trip out, um, where we get a member of staff from the school to come and help us. And um, we do things like go-karting, ice skating, paddle boarding. Um, and we let the children decide what they'd like to do each week so that we get a big variety of different trips. And here are some uh, happy book quotes. So we keep a log of all the lovely things from previous parents and children um, have sent to us um, just to give you a little flavour of um, their thoughts. Brilliant. <clears throat> Thank you, I mean, that's really helpful. I hope that gives everyone a bit of an insight. Um, there's a few questions that have been submitted during the week, so we'll just um, ask you those questions if I may, Amy. So the first question was, um, and you've touched on this already, but what support do I get if my child is homesick? So if your child is feeling homesick, then they can always talk to a member of staff. Um, we're all really experienced in managing children who are feeling a little bit homesick. 
Um, they can call at any point in the day. They want to talk um, to anybody at home. Um, a lot of our children who are overseas with different um, time zones, we allow them to ring in the morning, for example, because mm -hmm. it's, it's too late at night in the evening. Um, we also have their buddy as well that, that's there, and we just keep them really busy because the school day is very busy, um, but we also like to keep our evenings quite busy as well to keep them distracted and not feel yeah. too homesick. That's right, keeping them busy always seems to work, I think. Yeah. Um, and what happens if my child is ill or if they have any special dietary requirements? So all our staff are first aid trained. Um, so if they're unwell uh, in the boarding house, we have our matrons that are there as well to help give them anything which they might need um, to make them feel better, um, including if it's just a little hot water bottle. Um, we also have our uh, nurses in school that they can go to the Health and Wellbeing Centre and um, the nurses will take care of them there. That's brilliant. Um, dietary requirements, we have lots of different um, requests from parents and the catering staff are always really happy to cater with whatever dietary requirements your child might need. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. We do eat very well at school. That's <laughs> and how can I stay in contact with my child and the boarding staff? So we have a specific hour phone time with the children. We try and keep it to an hour during the week so that they have lots of time to interact with each other as well as not just being on their phones. Mm. However, if you would like to contact your child outside that phone time, we've got um, our house mobile number, which a member of staff has always got on them 24 hours a day. Um, and we've also got our office phone numbers that you can give us a call on as well, or email as well. It's, we communicate a lot through emails if, if that's easier. Thank you so much. And hopefully that answers most of your questions. But if you have any more questions, feel free to just drop us an email at any time. That would be great. Um, but you've heard from us, but now I think it's important you hear from the boarders. So we're going to hand over now to Clara and Leopold. Okay, please could you introduce yourself? Hi, my name's Clara Richardson. I'm in Year 8. I've been boarding for three years now and I'm from London. Hello, my name is Leopold. I'm from Germany. I'm 11 years old and this is my third year boarding now. Okay, so first question. What do you most enjoy about being at Beads? Um, I love the dancing. And um, I love how all the lessons have some kind of fun in them or activity in them to make it a little more um, appealing for my age, obviously. I quite love the diversity we have, we gain, we be, so we have more lessons, which is quite helpful if you ask me, because you don't have the same, same thing all the time. So you have a lot of diversity here, so I quite like that. What has been the best thing about boarding? Oh, um, uh, the big family. It's like one big family in one house. Um, it's also very welcoming and really friendly. And I love the house dog and bunnies. Um, I quite enjoy being with my friends. It's a lot of fun and they're always there for you. So it's pretty nice. And also the house parents, really nice. Thank you. What was it like when you first started at Beads? Um, I was very homesick, um, but I was also very nervous because it was boarding and I've never boarded before, but like I said, I was welcomed in with open arms and I've been really happy. I've actually been fine. I, I quite enjoyed coming here because I just found instantly a lot of friends, my buddy was really nice, and everyone's just been really welcoming. How did you settle into the boarding house? Um, well, our old house dog, Molly, she was always like very calm, and we always had like cuddles if I was feeling a little bit sad. Or my best friend, which I still have today, she was always very, very kind and caring. She always made me laugh when I was sad as well. Um, and the house parents were amazing, and so are the ones now. That's how I was. I didn't get much homesick anyway. Same really as school. I settled in pretty fast. Everyone was really welcoming. Just instantly settled in, really. How do you think you have benefited from boarding? Um, I'm happier. I'm a lot more confident, i found myself and I have a lot more friends than I used to. I feel very independent, i found a lot of friends as well and it's just really a lot of fun and my English has improved a lot as well. 